I'm Chef Steve Hodge, and today we are making blackberry infused white chocolate scones. Nothing better says breakfast is served. Your kids will love it, you will love it, I know my kids will love it. Let's get baking. Okay, today is all about breakfast. I woke up, I had this craving for a scone. I worked in London years and years and years ago, and it was one of our signature things on our menu. There's nothing better than a warm scone, straight out of the oven, clotted cream, heavy cream, you name it. We are gonna use white chocolate. Good quality white chocolate, that's what you want. So it melts when it bakes in there. Uh, and blackberry, so blackberry infused white chocolate scone. Simple ingredients, good quality white chocolate. We have eggs, granulated sugar, all purpose flour, heavy, heavy, heavy cream, butter, cold. It has to be cold. We will get there, I will tell you why. Baking powder, baking soda, salt, and obviously, Blackberries, frozen. Make sure if you are infusing berries into your pastry uh, dough, berries have to be frozen. First, gotta crack our eggs. Two eggs, right in the bowl. Break these eggs up, whisk them out, just like this. Cream, cool. Everything we do has to be cold in this dough. When it's cold, we'll ensure that rise in that flakiness, in that softness and airiness in the scone. If everything is warm, everything will melt together and that scone will become dense and um, chewy. Eggs in. Just whisk that together like that. Oh, I guess that's for the bloopers. Whisk it, incorporate it, perfect. Flour in, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Just give that a little quick turn like that to incorporate all that together. Butter, absolutely cold. What we wanna do is break this butter up into the flour. We're just gonna rub it together with our fingers. We don't wanna to rub too hard. We, what we wanna do is make evenly coarse chunks in here. That cold butter in there is now being coated by the flour, so that fat in that butter is being protected. Butter is key in baking because, it, well, I've said this before, the French use butter in everything. Flavor, flavor, flavor. You can see those little coarse pieces. That's a good size of butter in there. I mean, you could go smaller, but I love that because when you bake and it's rising and it's golden, golden brown and you see it like goozing out the butter and stuff like that, you know it's gonna taste. So freaking good. Chocolate in. Quick turn like that. Blackberries. I'm gonna keep them whole. Quick little turn. Why the blackberries are frozen? That it keeps its shape and it doesn't turn the batter a different color. So as you can see, they're not soft. They're not oozing. There's no liquid coming out. That liquid will come out as the second it has heat from that oven. That's what we're looking for. Cream. Eggs, in. Beautiful, get all that in there. I prefer using my hands when I bake because you can actually feel it. You get better as a baker by feel and touch. Get that all mixed up like that. Not overworking the dough. We don't want to work the gluten in the flour. We don't want a tough dough. We want a nice light dough. Dump that up there like that. And then see all that residual flour at the bottom? That's what I'm gonna use so it doesn't stick onto my table. At this point, all I wanna do is bring that dough together. I'm gonna flip it just like that. Push, push, push. Move that dough around and then we can flip it just like that. I'm not kneading it like a bread dough. I'm not folding and kneading it. I'm just slowly bringing it together. I don't wanna to toughen the dough. And two, I wanna keep this dough cold. Cold, cold, cold is key. I like to make a nice square and then I can get some nice uh, cuts out of it. Let me clean my hands real fast. Grab your chef knife. You wanna score. Um, use a dull knife because we don't have a cutting board. 
save your good knives. So this knife I actually cut on my marble for stuff like this. I don't have to worry about this knife. So you want to score maybe three by three inches like that. So nice ones, nice ones. We can cut across like that. Boom, just like that. And good, move that aside. Good, we're gonna put this onto a tray, get it into the fridge, cool it down for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna come back, we're gonna egg wash it. We're gonna sprinkle some coarse sugar on that. That'll give that crunch and that caramelization when we bake. I would take a bite, but you know what? That is so hot right now, so let's let these cool for a little bit. I have blackberries left over, so why not? Let's do another cocktail. We're saving the best till last. It's cocktail hour with uh, moi, myself. And I thought we had blackberries left over, so why don't we just do a chocolate-infused blackberry brambler? So I have some blackberries. I'm just gonna throw them into my cocktail glass. We wanna crush those blackberries in there just like that. Get those fully broken up. I'm gonna fill my glass with some crushed ice. And then in my shaker, one ounce of lemon juice. Make sure you don't get those seeds in there. Three teaspoons of simple syrup, two ounces of gin, and then about a half an ounce of uh, chocolate liqueur. And then we're just going to shake that up. Strain that into our glass. Like that, we're gonna finish it with some chocolate bitters, garnish with blackberries. Get a little stir. That looks unbelievable. Who says there has to be rules? For more recipes like this, like and subscribe. And if you wanna shop online for some goodies, check out my pastry shop, temperpastry.com. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.